Christian ritual, the, the sacrament, the, the um, historical initiation of, uh, of baptism. And uh, I'm, I'm here with his family. Oh, a wonderful t-shirt there. Yeah, he has a wonderful t-shirt on. Jesus is king, and this is his wonderful wife here. And, and uh, maybe, you know, <laughs> yes. So maybe if you could just maybe share your name and um, why are you here today? Okay, uh, my name is Warren. And today I'm here today to get my baptism, to really accept Jesus Christ into our life because I believe in Christ since 2017, but haven't got a chance to get my baptism. So today is very excited. We can have this chance to get my baptism. Amen. Amen. Except, so to really bring Christ in, bring bring Jesus Christ into our life. Amen. So tell tell us a little about your background. Like where are you coming from? Like what what how did you end up be believing in Jesus? Okay, um, I actually I from a, a Buddhism background. Actually, it's a long story. Actually, when the bad thing happen, that will actually is is not really a bad thing. Actually, it's something good is going to happen. What happened was I actually broke up with my wife, mm. my, my my girlfriend used to be my girlfriend last time. So and many things happened like my family, my mother got sick. So I started to learn to how to pray. That where I found found God. Mm -hmm. uh, God really like answer my prayer. God actually show up to me. So what, what? From, I mean, how did you know to pray? Like, what? Why did you pray? I mean, were you always Christian? How did you I, like? What was your religion? I practice? just, uh, to be honest, like every every night I just pray the same thing. I just Lord. Uh, if you are real, show me. I, I, I say this. I used to say this. If you are real, show me. And then I say, I I really want to get back with my girlfriend. And I not just only be my girlfriend. I want to marry her. Amen. You know, then after like five months, you know, we we already broke up. Then after five months, just one day, my girlfriend actually just called me. You know what? Jesus said, you are my husband. <laughs> That's it. What? You know why? Because I'm, I have been praying for five months for you to be my wife. Then one day she just called me, you are my husband, Jesus said. Because she have a vision that Jesus holding my hand and her hand. We're getting married. Wow. Amen. And, and so this is uh, how you ended up coming to Jesus. Yes. So um, well, who is Jesus to you? Our God. Amen. Mm -hmm our savior yeah <laughs> amen amen so you you said that many years ago you mm. made that that decision for jesus so the yes. question is why now why do you now want to take this step of baptism why not before like what what took so and and, and be honest i think okay. i think i think it's also uh in god timing like uh today you know uh, we, we know that Pastor David, you are coming to here. Then you are ready to baptize anyone who willing to accept Christ. And then like just, you know, this, just this morning, our church sharing, we have the confirm, really it's a confirmation that you have to do, you have to take it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's time for you to take it because, you know, after we attend so many church uh, service, this is the first time they are talking about the topic of baptism. Right. You first you have to believe in Christ but when you believe in Christ you are not complete you have to get baptized then you are really complete right. you give your life give I mean let Jesus Christ coming into your life by that it right. right okay and so you know um, you know these years walking through and and mm. and I, I, I just want you to like why now though I mean yes you heard the message but I mean, did you know about baptism before or like, what was the delay? What was the Why did delay? you delay for so long? Mm, what's the delay? Was there distractions in your life? Was, I mean, you believed I, maybe the belief wasn't so strong I, I, or? For me, I think maybe just 
you doesn't want to like step up because you 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 actually thinking that ah I actually I already believe in Christ, so there is no different like you know I have to I, when it, when there is a the right time then I have to do it if not then since I'm already believe so it's no different like maybe I have this thought like last time right. but until now like. I know there is no guarantee for tomorrow. You know, we are we are we are not guaranteed for another another new life tomorrow. Right. So right. we have to take the decision now. Right. You see, there's a lot of people that have accepted Jesus Christ, and um, they've either been told that baptism is not important or it doesn't make any difference. And, but if you search your heart, you're gonna know that there's something missing. Jesus Christ was actually baptized. Mark, Matthew chapter 3, 15. The disciples were baptized. The disciples were baptizing other people. And Jesus said, go into all the world and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them. And every single time people accepted Christ, they were baptized. And the Bible talks about baptism. It talks about, in Romans chapter 6, it says that, you know, as many as you were baptized into Christ have, have um, uh, as you have been baptized, you should also rise with Christ. And, um, and so I'm just going to share with you, and I'm going to ask if you could just maybe hold the... Okay. If you can. Hold. No problem. This is okay. the flap. All right, all right, so let's do it. Have to... Oh, okay. Uh, the Maybe, camera is on the... Like this? Okay, the camera is on the back, right? It, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's yes. do it. So, so bapti baptism is... Uh, the Bible says, uh, talks about baptism in the epistles in a few places, Romans chapter 6, Colossians chapter 2, 1 Peter chapter 3, uh, as well as the Gospels. And Paul the Apostle explained baptism, and he, and he said that uh, uh, he, he said that when we're baptized with Christ, we're, it's like we're putting on Christ. Amen. Because we're identifying with his death, burial, and resurrection. And so we are... Uh, saying that I believe with my whole being, I believe with my body, I believe with my mind, and I surrender. And I'm surrendering to the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen. And so we can say a lot with our mouth, but the Bible says faith without works is dead. And it's not works that saves us, it's the expression of faith that saves us. When we say we have faith, it's always expressed. And so when we say we have faith in the death, burial, and resurrection, are we willing to put our body where our mouth is? Are we willing to participate in this, in this ritual that identifies us with Christ uh, biblically? Uh, and Peter explained that as well. He says um, uh, that we are saved by baptism, not by the washing of the body with water, but the answer of a good conscience. And so when we have a good conscience, when we are saying, I truly believe, we are willing to risk our lives for it. We're willing to identify with Christ. And this solidifies and confirms our faith. And this is the reason why so many people feel incomplete, because they know that their body has to follow what their mouth and their, and their spirit says. And so that's where the whole man comes in. So. Um, uh, do you believe that Jesus died, was buried, and rose again for you? Amen. And have you accepted him as your Lord and Savior? Amen. I would just like you, even right now, to, to just say a short prayer of just welcoming Jesus in your life and that acknowledging what he did on the cross for you in your own words. I pray. Yes. Okay. Uh, I open my heart to welcome you. Come into my life change me, let me be a new me, Lord, take away all my sin, help me to not sin again, help me to have fear in you, help me to do everything, think before I do, think of you first, tell me what is right to do, what is not right to do, let your Holy Spirit to tell me, to guide me, to fill me, And today, Lord, I decided to get my baptism. I really, really open, open up my heart to take you as my only God. 
to save my life. Jesus, name I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember your name. Warren. Warren. Look. Hallelujah. Well, this is exciting. Yes, it is. We're going to go right here. Deep water. So you can come as close as you can. Uh, no, no, we're going to go. <laughs> now, the cool thing about this water is it's right off the edge. <laughs> yes. That's Overlooking the yeah. Twin Tower. Face. Very important. It's a new life. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I'm just going to pray for you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, or Lord God. If there was any wicked thing in his life, any hindrance in his life, I pray that you take it away from him, right? Let him know, Lord God, that you love him. That confession of faith is able, Lord, to save him. As you said, for by grace are we saved through faith, not of ourselves. It's a gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. And you said, Lord, whoever believes on the Lord Jesus Christ shall be saved. So save his soul as he has put his faith in Christ. And even through these waters, believe that Jesus died, buried, and rose again for him. Confirm his faith by granting him the Holy Spirit. As you said, Lord, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And this promise is to you and to all that the Lord our God will call. In Jesus' name, Father Lord, have mercy upon him, Lord. Let the Holy Spirit fall upon him. In Jesus' mighty name, every wicked thing from his life, every curse from his past, every hindering thing, Lord, that has tried to hold him back. Today is a new day, Lord. Cleanse him right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Take your left hand on your nose and your right hand on your wrist. Based upon the confession of your faith as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, in the name of Adonai, Yeshua, HaMashiach, Kyrios, Jesus, Christos. I baptize you today in the name, Hallelujah. the saving name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise hallelujah. the mighty name of the Lord. Father, Lord, even right now, Lord God, in the midst of all of these witnesses, Father God, let this man, oh Father, know your power from this day forward, oh God. Fill him with joy. Fill him with peace. Fill him with the Holy Ghost with evidence of God of speaking in new tongues, O oh God. Let him, O oh God, experience the power of the Lord, the power of salvation right now, Lord, as he has been saved. Father God, save him from the uttermost. Save him from his past. Let him know that he is a new creation. All things have passed and all things have become new, starting from today, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, that you said, Lord, you will pour out your spirit upon all flesh and your sons and daughters will prophesy. So, Father, speak to him in his dreams starting today. Lord, move inside of his life. Let him hear your voice. And, Lord, let him experience your power from this day forward. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Wow. Another brother in Christ surrendering to the Lord in Malaysia. Hallelujah. This is amazing. Uh, God is doing mighty things. Wherever you are, I'm coming to Australia. I know tomorrow there's another brother in Malaysia. And I think two other people that are saying, I'm ready. And if you're here in Malaysia Hallelujah. and you're saying, I'm ready. Hey, I'm here. I'm here for two more days. But it's not about me. If I can't do it, if you're in a part of the other world, find somebody. To, to baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ and give your life to the Lord before it's too late. He's coming for a, a spotless bride. He's coming for those who have accepted his son, Jesus Christ. It is your turn. So God bless you. And and uh, I hope this encouraged you today. This is David Lynn from Malaysia. Take care. <laughs>